So have you ever tried to drag and drop a file within your Pro Tools session and you just can't? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys. So Pro Tools is open. I have a blank session. And normally when I'm working with samples or I want to import an MP3 or a WAV file to use as a reference, I usually do it this way. So now we're going to look for my audio file. And I have this MP3. Here's a track that I mixed a while ago, and I want to drag it into Pro Tools. But wait a minute, I'm not able to. Usually, I like to drag it right here to the tracks, and I can't. And I'm going to close the session. And using Alt F4, I'm going to close Pro Tools as well. Hopefully, it does close. There you go. So let me minimize that. and. And let's go ahead and relaunch Pro Tools again. Now I open the Pro Tools. So Pro Tools has opened. I loaded the blank session. And let's go ahead and locate that folder with my audio file. And let's try to drag it into Pro Tools this time. And it actually worked. But wait a minute. I didn't show you guys anything. All I did was close and reopen Pro Tools. What is going on here? So now that I terminated Pro Tools, how did I fix it? So I'm going to go to my start menu. Most likely it's going to be different. I like to organize my start menu, put everything in subfolders, but find your Pro Tools, right click it, go to more, open file locations, and let's maximize that. And right here, you're going to see your Pro Tools shortcut. So if you right click properties and go to compatibility, make sure that run this program as administrator is not checked. Now, if we check it, and let's go ahead and notch Pro Tools one last time. As you saw this time, it acts for administrative privileges. So that little pop-up that asks you, are you sure you want to run? That's what I did. And let's go ahead and go to that audio file. So here's the audio file. And check this out. I'm not able to drag and drop the file. So as far as I know, the only way to fix that is to uncheck that run as admin. If you remember a couple of years back during the LE days, you used to have this capability with certain plugins. You were able to drag your samples into plugins. For example, like Structure. How many of you guys remember Structure? It's a free uh, plugin that comes with Pro Tools. There is a full version and you can pay for that version. Back then, you were able to drag your samples directly on top of that plugin and it would work. Now, due to the fact that the development kit, the SDK has changed, you can no longer do that. As far as I know, I haven't tried in a while. At least you're able to drag back into Pro Tools. And don't forget, by dragging into Pro Tools, to go to Setup, Preferences, Processing, and automatically copy files on import. Let's go ahead and take a look at the session folder. And over here, we have a couple of folders. But the one we're interested in is audio files. Now it's empty. So let's go back to my sample or the song that I mixed, and let's drop it here. And it should automatically import now. So if we go back to the session folder, here we go. So if I take this anywhere, it's going to open those files because it's located in that folder. So I really hope you got something out of this video. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.